Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about log based recovery technique. Log based recovery, it is the process used for ensuring consistency and atomicity of database, particularly when system failure occurs. System failures may include system crashes, power outages, etc. And this log based recovery technique ensures the consistency and atomicity of database by using a transaction which is used to record all the activities of a transaction whenever they are performed. The activities of a transaction include starting of a transaction, when transaction performs right operation, when it got committed and aborted. All these activities are entered into the transaction log whenever they are performed. And here the very important point to be highlighted here is before any changes are made to the database, the corresponding log entry must be written to the log so that whenever a system crash occur, the database can be restored to consistent state. Here, a log which is used for recording all the activities of a transaction, right? This transaction log, it is a file which is usually stored in, in some safe and stable storage so that if any failure occurs then it can be recovered from there okay let us now discuss what are the types of or what are the different techniques of log based recovery technique in log based recovery technique there are two types are available immediate database modification which is also known as undo or read algorithm and another type is deferred modification technique which is also known as no undo redo algorithm. Here in case of immediate database modification technique the changes made by transactions are applied to database immediately after the execution of each operation. Since the updates are made to the database immediately after the execution of each operation, it is known as immediate database modification technique. Whereas in case of deferred modification technique, changes made by transactions are applied to database only after its successful commit or partial commit of the transaction. Since the database modifications or changes which need to be made to the database are deferred until the successful commit of a transaction. This is this technique is known as a deferred modification technique. Okay. In both the techniques, the very important point as we just discussed before any changes made to the database, either the change is made immediately after the execution of each operation or is after the successful commit of the transaction it doesn't matter whatever the whatever the update this database update can be made only after making the corresponding log entry into the transaction log okay so let's now discuss what are the log records and recovery procedures are applied on both these techniques here you can observe in both the techniques start record, update record, commit record, even it may include about record also. Okay. So, in both the uh, techniques, four, uh, four records are used. Okay. Whereas, this recovery procedure, in case of immediate database modification, two recovery procedures are applied, undo as well as a redo. That's why it is known as undo redo algorithm and in case of deferred modification technique only one recovery procedure redo recovery procedure is applied and there is no undo procedure is applied that's why it is known as no undo only redo algorithm okay here in log records ta in ta denotes the transaction identifier whereas xi denotes the data item identifier v1 indicates all the values of data item xi v2 it uh, denotes the new value of the data item excel okay here in case of deferred modification technique there is no change in start and commit record only there is a slight change in 
slight but important change in update record here you can notice no old value of data item is maintained here only the new value is only recorded into update record of the food database modification technique here coming to a recovery procedure undo procedure is applied in case of whenever the system resumes from its failure in order to recover the database to its consistent state this undo recovery procedure is applied if the transaction is a is an uncommitted transaction and redo is applied only if the only on committed transactions and there is in case of deferred modification technique this redo procedure is applied on committed and partially committed transactions let's now discuss how this immediate database modification technique it records the logs and makes corresponding updates into the database with the schedule serial schedule having two transactions t0 and t1 where t0 it transfers it transfers an amount 50 rupees from account a to b and t1 it withdraws an amount 100 rupees from c account okay here assume a b c account its balance are initially 1000 2000 and 700 okay here the first statement in transaction t0 is t0 begin right so when it is being executed immediately t0 start a record is recorded into the log and since read operation does not disturb the consistency of database there is no record is required to be made into the log so there is no record is made and write operation it it makes it updates the value of database right so the corresponding update record must be now made into the log okay so this is the update record which contains the transaction identifier data item identifier the old value of the data item and new value of the data item so when 50 rupees is transferred from a to b the balance of a is a got reduced to 50 so it becomes 950 okay then since it is the immediate database modification technique immediately after making the update record into the log it has to be updated into the database now so now the a, a value it got updated to 950 okay so now when write operation is performed on b the corresponding log record must be made into the log and immediately after making this update into the log now the update must be made into the database now b value becomes 2050 the old value of b is not available now okay so next statement is t not end it indicates the partial commit of the transaction so immediately it keeps the record t not commit into the log so at this point in time the transaction is successfully committed okay the next next transaction starts its execution when begin statement is executed so corresponding entry is made into the log then when write operation is performed immediately the update record the corresponding update record is made so immediately after that the corresponding update is made into the database now the updated value of c is 600 then finally when t1 end is executed it means it is it executed all its instructions so t1 commit is executed okay so now the updated value of a and b after the transfer of amount 50 from a to b are 950 and 2050 a value becomes 950 b value becomes 2050 and once from c account 100 rupees transferred then it becomes 600 okay these are the final values of a b c now the transaction is in consistent state if suppose any failure occurs during the execution of these transaction how the system how database management system ensures the consistency of the database by applying immediate database modification technique let us discuss now okay assume that whenever when uh, the transaction up to uh, this write operation it got executed okay so at this point in time if 
system failure occurs there will not be any instruction will be available when the system recovers from its failure okay it doesn't have any idea up to which transaction it executed and what is the status of the values updated into the database either the database is in consistent state or not it doesn't have any idea because the transactions which were executed were in ram this which is a volatile memory so in case of system failure all the contents will be will not be available when the system get back from its failure it cannot see any of the previous any of the previous operations okay so however in spite of any scenario any problem the database management system has to keep the database in consistent state that's why when the system recovers from the failure it has to apply the recovery procedure that is immediate database modification technique to restore the database to consistent state so just assume that the system resumed from its failure recover from its failure so at that at this time it has to apply the recovery procedures so uh, the two recovery procedures which are supported by immediate database modification technique are redo and undo procedure this redo procedure is applied on committed transaction and the undo procedure is applied on uncommitted transaction this committed transaction it contains both start as well as commit record whereas undo transaction it contains only the start record okay so in our case when the system recovers from the failure it it look into the log the usual the log is usually stored into the safe and stable storage right so uh, the content which are stored into the log it will be it will remain persistently even if system failure occurs so when it recovers from the failure and it can uh, see the content which are, which were already stored into the log so when it refers to it it can see the log records which were made previously so now it sees the t not start only there is no commit it means it is it is an uncommitted transaction so when it is an uncommitted transaction which recovery procedure will be applied undo will be applied on t not okay so when undo recovery procedure is applied the updated values on a and b it will be undone that is old values of a and b values will be restored in order to restore the database to a consistent state okay so when undo operation is applied the new values of a and b are removed and old values of a and b are restored into the database in order to restore the database to a to its consistent state okay let us let us now take the another scenario when the transaction uh, it failure occurs at the end of the execution of t not end when t not end is executed t not commit is made into the log right so at this point in time if system failure occurs how dbms ensures the consistency of database just assume that after some time the system recovers from its failure then it has to apply the recovery procedure in order to maintain the database consistent state okay so the recovery procedures in immediate database modifications are redo and undo and redo is applied on committed transaction undo is applied on uncommitted transaction when the system recovers from its failure it look into the log our log it contains t not start and t not commit since it contains both start and commit t not is a committed transaction so it applies a redo procedure recovery procedure on t not in order to keep database in its consistent state okay when redo is applied on t not what happens the whatever the records are already made into the log again they are executed so when again they are executed once again a and b values are updated into the database the new values of a and b are once again updated into the database okay once again made into the database 
Let's take one more scenario where system failure occurs at the end of the execution of transaction T1. Okay. So, at this point in time, if system failure occurs and after some time when it recovers from the failure, okay, it will look into the log. Okay, when it look into the log, it finds T0, it contains start as well as commit and T1 also contains start and commit. Since both are committed transaction, on committed transaction, what procedure will be applied? Redo. So, redo procedure will be applied on T0 as well as T1. So, when redo is executed, again the updates, the new values which are indicated by update records in log, those new values are again made into the database. So, already A value is 950, B 2050, C is equal to 600, right? Again, those values are once again updated into the database. Okay, like this, immediate database modification ensures the consistency of database when system recovers from the failure. Okay, let us now discuss another technique, deferred database modification technique. Okay, in de deferred database modification technique, changes made by the transactions are apply to the database only after its successful commit or partial commit of transactions. Okay. Let us now discuss how this deferred modification technique make the log entries and makes updates into the database with the serial schedule what we discussed now. Okay. Here when transaction starts its execution immediately start record is made. As we already discussed, A, B, C account balances, initial values are 1000, 2000 and 700. Okay. And when write operation is performed, the corresponding update record is made into the log. You can notice now we are discussing deferred database modification technique in this update record do not have the old values. Only the new value entry only is made into the log record. And here though it makes the update record it will not update it will not make that update into the database immediately it is that update is deferred until its successful commit okay here you see now write operation is performed on b so now the update record will be made and when t not end is executed it means all the operations in t not in T naught is performed. So, when all the operations are performed, this T naught is said to be partially committed. Okay. So, when it is partially committed, immediately it makes commit record into the log. So, now after the partial commit of this only, the updates are reflected into the database. That is, the updated value of A and B 950 and 2050 are reflected into the database now at this point only. Okay, now the values of A and B are changed to 950 and 2050. So now T1 starts its execution, the corresponding log, start log is made into the log and when write operation is performed, the update record is also made and when end operation is performed, the commit record is made and the corresponding log is made into the database after the commit only. Since the update into the database or deferred until the commit of the transactions. It is known as deferred database modification technique. Let us now discuss how this database modification technique ensures the consistency of the database when the system recovers from the failure. Okay, here in case 1, if suppose if the transaction it uh, executed up to this and uh, it uh, if suppose system failures occurs at this time after the execution of write B. Here you can see the what are the log records are here and the database entries also A, B values are 1000 and 2000. There is no changes made up to this point because it is the deferred database modification technique, right? So, only after the co partial commit of the transaction only the updates will be made. So, until this point there is no changes now there is no update is made into the database due to the execution of transaction t0 
if suppose system failure occurs at this point in time as we already discussed the database management system it doesn't have any idea what are what are the transactions were executed recently and either the database is in consistent state or not it doesn't have any idea but however its uh, recovery component uh, duty it has to ensure always the database is in consistent state so when the system recovers from the failure it has to apply the recovery procedure supported by default database modification technique by referring to the log okay when it recovers from the failure only redo recovery procedure is supported by default database modification technique and that is applied only on the committed transaction and this database modification uh, deferred database modification technique it uh, ignores the log entries of uncommitted transaction if there is any uh, uncommitted transactions are there and all its log entries are ignored in case of deferred database modification technique okay so accordingly when when dbms look into the log after the after the recovery of system from its failure look into the log now this in this log t not is uncommitted because it has only start record there is no corresponding commit record so since it is uncommitted all its log entries will be ignored and here as well there is no changes made on a and b due to the execution of t not okay so you can observe even though it is ignored the database is in consistent state only okay let us take one more case if suppose the transaction failure happens okay the transaction failure happens uh, at this point in time when t not end is executed uh, the corresponding log t not commit will be made and a and b values are also updated into the database sometimes before making the update into the database also it may uh, it may get failure so either it it uh, update it the values are updated into the database or not doesn't matter if the log entry t not commit is into the is available into the log then this transaction is known as partially committed okay so just assume at this point in time system failure occurs so no transaction content will be available when the system recovers from the failure okay so however the database management system it has to ensure the consistency of database by applying the recovery procedure so what is the recovery procedure supported by deferred database modification technique redo okay and this is applied on committed transaction here our transaction t not is committed because it has both start and commit record so redo procedure will be applied on this t not okay when redo is applied the new values of a and b again it will be updated into the database so even earlier also the database contains 950 and 2050 again also when redo is executed again those values are updated into the database okay uh, let us take one more scenario here where database uh, database ensures the database consistency where system failure occurs after the successful commit of both the transaction t0 and t1 here you see uh, here the system failure assume that system failure occurs at this point in time where t0 as well as t1 are successfully committed its corresponding entries also made into the database at this point in time if system failure occurs and after some time when it recovers from the failure it has to ensure the consistency of database right for that it has to apply the recovery procedure which is supported by deferred database modification technique is redo okay so this redo is applied on t0 as well as t1 because both are both are committed transaction so when redo is applied on t0 as well as t1 once again 
the new values of a b c are updated into the database here when redo operation is applied perform, uh, when redo operation is performed those are performed in forward direction that is redo is applied on t node and then it will be applied on t1 so when redo is applied on t not a becomes 950 b again becomes 2050 c again becomes 600 okay so in this way deferred database modification technique ensures the consistency of database when the system recovers from its failure so in this both both the log based recovery techniques the major difficulties are searching the entire log is time consuming okay and in this in both the cases we might unnecessarily redo transactions which have already output their updates to the database right as well keeping and maintaining logs in real time and in real environment may fill out all the memory space available in the system okay when more transactions are being executed and the log entries it becomes very lengthy and maintaining uh, keeping them into the memory space it becomes impossible and at time passes log file becomes too big to be handled at all so in order to overcome these difficulties checkpoint log record can be made into the log so we will discuss about checkpoints topic in log based recovery technique in the upcoming video students in this video we discussed about log based recovery techniques and its various types also if you find this video useful to you kindly subscribe this channel thanks for watching